Hey y'all, sorry that I look like I look. I have no makeup on, um, but God moved. And so now I want to make this video. Um, I'm trying to get to my notes. So last night um, before bed, I was doing my studying and God brought me to 1 John 4.14. I'm going to pull that up now um, on my Bible. Hallelujah, Father God. Thank you. Um, you know, I just read a post and it really made me angry. And because I was angry and I don't want to sin, I said, let me get into the word. And then God was like, what about the word that I provided you yesterday? I need you to share that. Um, so 1 John 4.14. Um, and it says, and we have seen and testified that the Father has son has sent his son to be the savior of the world um and so it's one verse but i'm telling you god can take even one word and make it like really really special um so in this one verse um broke it down to me um the main words that i underlined here was seen and testified um and if you listen to my other videos, my past videos, I talk about uh, gateways to your soul. Um, and he confirmed that that word that I talked about there with this one. So, and we have seen and testified. So here he said, um, seeing God's glory shine in someone's life um, and hearing someone's testimony is how people become familiar with Jesus. That's what he revealed to me. So I'm going to read this verse one more time so it can stick. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. Um, and I want to get into those uh, gateways. So gateways into your spirit. The two main ways is sight, so eyes, and your hearing, ears. And this is important for us to really pay close attention to um, because like I was saying my last post um, we're seeing so much and we're hearing so much and we have to be um, diligent and um, aware of what we're looking at and what we're hearing um, we need to start asking for that spirit of discernment so God can reveal what he needs to reveal to us um, I know this is short and sweet but it was something I really had to I had to um, express. Pay attention, guys. Uh, God is saying, pay attention. Pay attention to what you're hearing and what you're looking at. If it's not right, you need to stop. Okay. This is this is coming straight from God. This is not coming from justice. It's not coming from me. It's coming from God. God is right now in this. Um, in this time, he is revealing what he wants us to see, um, but he's also revealing what he doesn't want us to see. It's time for Christians to stop having one foot in and one foot out. One foot in the world, one foot in, in, in the gospel. It's time to be a part of the kingdom. If you want to be a part of the kingdom, you need to not only be reading your word, getting that wisdom, getting that understanding, getting that knowledge, being a godly person, you know, loving on your neighbors, but you also need to be paying attention to what you're looking at and what you're listening to because your spirit is very sensitive. It's very, it's, it's, it's something that you need to protect. Um, there's so many religions out there, so many um, ways people talk about, you know, protecting your mental health um, and your spiritual health. Um, mindfulness comes to mind and mindfulness is good but, but what is important the key is watching what you're listening to what you're seeing what you're seeing um, a lot of people think that they're able to look and listen to things because other people can do it I should be able to do it that's not always the case um, now I'm not saying that you you know you can't you can't, no, I am saying that. Yes, I am. You can't, everybody can't do what everybody else is doing. As a Christian, like I was saying earlier, you can't have that one foot out, one foot in. God, right now, um, a lot of prophets have been talking about it. He's um, He's confirmed it with me. I'm going to confirm it for you if you 
I haven't been confirmed. God is closing doors, but God's also sending a wave. It's going to be a wave of people talking about his glory, testifying his glory, because, and we have seen and we have testified that the Savior is Jesus Christ. That's, that's what's in this book, and that's what's happening now. A lot more people are going to rise up. A lot more people are going to start speaking the truth. Um, and it's time that people who are Christians that know the word, it's time for you to get in alignment with God. So start reading your Bible. Start getting in a relationship with God. Start praying. And you can start very small, you know. Um, I started small, you know. Started with my prayer every day. Then I started listening to sermons on YouTube. And then I started listening to more gospel music. And then I started reading the Bible. You don't have to do it in that order. That's how I did it. That's how I got back reacquainted with my father. Um, he missed me. I've been running for my calling. I've been called to be a prophet. Um, and he said, it's time. It's time for me to either get with it or get left. And I don't want to get left. And I don't want um, someone that I love and care about to get left. So I'm coming to you now to say, pay attention to what you're looking at and what you're listening to. Because God is revealing everything that we need to know in this hour. Peace and blessings. I love you.